Hi, this is Ahu Zainali here to present a study investigating the effects of T consciousness fields on brain mapping using quantitative electroencephalogram. The outline of my presentation is as follows. In the 1980s, Muhammad Ali Tahiri introduced T consciousness as a foundational element of the universe, considered to be the origin of information, matter, and energy. However, according to Tahiri, there are various consciousness fields with different functions. These fields involve non-physical entities that can be studied through laboratory experiments. The effects of T-consciousness fields are initiated through the connection to the Cosmic Consciousness Network, which is established via the Fata Manga's mind, also known as an announcer. And by applying each of these fields, specific information is transmitted. Quantitative electroencephalogram is a non-invasive method to study brain activity measuring the synchronization of various brain networks. It examines five frequency bands, delta, theta, alpha, beta, and gamma. QEEG converts EEG into a clear format, utilizing computerized mathematical algorithms for linear EEG waveforms. NeuroGuide software is an informative and comprehensive digital EEG and QEEG analysis system which examines the raw data and power spectrum to identify Z-scores. The objectives of this study is to investigate whether the hypothetical T-consciousness field exhibit any effects on brain mapping using QEEG. In this study, 36 individuals were selected, 20 females and 16 males, age ranged between 20 to 70 year olds. Subjects were instructed to abstain from alcohol, coffee, soda, tea and energy drinks for 3 to 4 hours, also not to take any medications for 12 hours prior to the examination and to have sufficient sleep the night before. QEG recordings were conducted under the three following conditions. The control condition, which was with just closed eyes without the influence of any T-consciousness field. The experimental condition 1, which was with closed eyes under the influence of T-consciousness field 1. And the experimental condition 2, which was with closed eyes under the influence of T-consciousness field 3. Each QEG recording session lasted for three minutes, utilizing 19 electrodes positioned on the head to capture brainwave activities. The QEG recordings captured various electrical waves categorized into delta, theta, alpha, beta, high beta, and beta 1 waves. These recordings were analyzed using NeuroGuide software, which transformed the QEG data into a Z-score relative power table Statistical analysis conducted on the data from 36 participants involved pair t-test analysis with significant level set at p-value less than 0.05. This approach allowed for a comprehensive assessment of the impact of different consciousness fields on brainwave activity. The results of the first experimental condition compared to the control demonstrated that the following regions were significantly influenced under the uh, T-consciousness field 1. Prefrontal cortex, right temporal cortex, right and left occipital cortex, and right frontal cortex. Greater changes were observed in the right hemisphere compared to the left. Although the midline frontal cortex FZ presented no change, an increase in alpha waves at the midline parietal cortex PZ was observed. The decrease in fast brain waves in regions such as F8, T6, and P4 may indicate the suppression of the central executive network during the exposure to the T-consciousness field 1. Moreover, the increase in alpha waves in regions such as PZ, T6, 
L1 and L2 suggests inhibition of the default mode network. The results of the second experimental condition compared to the control demonstrated changes in seven regions. The region significantly influenced under the consciousness field 3, where right frontal cortex, temporal cortex, prefrontal cortex, and left occipital cortex. O1 located in the left hemisphere's visual cortex is associated with visual message processing, dreaming, and the procedural memory. T6 is associated with emotional perception and is linked to amygdala. T5 is related to verbal comprehension and reading text. In this table, you can see the comparison of the effects of T-consciousness fields 1 and 3 in brain waves. The red font represents the regions where changes in the same waves were observed under the influence of both T-consciousness fields. In conclusion, T-consciousness fields 1 and 3 led to changes in both fast and slow brain waves in different ways, with more distinct changes observed under the influence of T-consciousness field 1. Based on changes observed in experimental conditions compared to the control condition, one can deduce the hypothetical T-consciousness fields not only exist, but also have the potential to influence brain waves. Further studies are recommended to clarify the mechanism and the extent of favorable effects of the T-consciousness fields on brain waves. Here are some of the references used in this study. And here is the research team. Thank you for listening in. Cosmo Intel Research Center is a monitoring and publishing center for T-consciousness field research. If you would like to collaborate with Cosmo Intel or have any inquiries, please use the contact details on the screen.